Good evening, everyone. Today I'll be presenting on my topic malingering. Malingering or simulation can be defined as intentionally counterfeiting a disease with benefit instinct or misattributing his or her symptoms to another irrelevant clinical identity, like in case of exaggerating. There can be either positive simulation where there's presence of a fake disease or a negative simulation where there's denial of an already present disease. In all cases of simulation, either positive or negative, there's only one instinct bet that is benefit. It can be the monetary or non-monetary. These cases can be divided into three classes, intentional simulation, hysterics, and exaggerating symptoms. Conversion reactional hysterics is where subject really lives his or her symptoms and can't control or even know that they are psychogenic in origin. In malingering, patient is trying to cheat or confuse a doctor. So to diagnose a malingerer, a doctor performs a set of tests in turn to confuse or cheat the patient. At the end, it remains the diagnosis of exclusion. Tests in which we try to confuse the patient include Snellen's test, Ishihara, iso, uh, Ishihara pseudo-isochromatic plates, convex lens test, prism test, classification test of color use, FC lesser test, etc. Tests in which we try to cheat the patient include Goldman perimetry, automated perimetry, infrared pupil campimetry, ERG, etc. Simulation of visual equity. In this, we start from the smallest letter possible in the chart, which is the 6 by 3 line. By the pa time patient looks up at 6 by 6 or 6 by 7.5 line, the patient is generally convinced that letters are now large enough to read and is easily able to read them. Convex lens test. A low convex or concave lens is placed before the blind eye and a high convex lens is placed before the good eye. Additional 10 diopter lenses is placed before the both eye and removed simultaneously. If patient succeeds in reading, he is concluded as a malingerer. The geochrome test, we use green and red lenses before the good and bad eye respectively. If patient is able to read all the letters, including the letters in the red background, he is concluded as a malingerer. The four diopter prism test or the base down test where we place uh, prism with base down over the good eye and induce monocular vertical diplopia. <laughs> but after Doing it binocularly, patient had missing two lights. Then he is concluded as a malingerer. The base out test where we ask the patient to look at the light source and place the prism with base out before the bad eye. If the eye move inwards to avoid diplopia, then he is concluded as a malingerer. Simulation of visual field defects. Three common type of visual field defects simulation includes tunnel view, which is the most common non-specific contraction, and spiral view. Tests for simulation of visual field effects include Goldman perimetry, tangent screen, automated perimetry, and infrared pupil campimetry. In Goldman perimetry, there are two signs. First is the inversion of absopter sign, where the simulator says that the absopter recorded centrifugal is narrower compared to the centripetal. But the due to the persistence of retinal image phenomena, it, this is considered to the normal uh, contrary case, contrary to the normal case. But in a, and distance phenomena, in this, the subject moves himself out 30 to 40 centimeters from the initial position. In normal cases, visual field size would be expected to be larger. But the simulator reports that the visual field size is same or paradoxically smaller than the primary examination. Tangent screen, it is useful in visual field heme loss, which is unilateral. First, the sound eye is tested and then blind spot is identified. Then weak eye is tested and typical tunnel vision is observed. Then it is tested for both eye where weak eye defect is lost in sound eye visual defect in normal person. But in simulator, the defect is not lo lost and blind spot is still persisted. In automated perimetry, it is an ob objective investigation and does not let prejudice about the size and localization of the defect. Its reliability is less than Goldman perimeter because it needs full cooperation of the patient. As a root, bad reliability negates simulation and high false negative can lead, lead to clover leaf shape. Pupil campimetry in this stimuli is projected by the perimeter and unintentional pupillary movements are recorded by the infrared pupil campimetry. Ishihara pseudo-isochromatic plates. In positive simulation, the subject intentionally does not read any of the numbers printed in the plates, including the first plate, which is the preliminary example plate, which can easily be read even by discromates. And negative malingering, it is useful because the color plates are very hard to be memorized, so it's easy to catch the malingerer. The classification test for the color use. In, in this, we can use Farnsworth 100 view or 15 hues test. Simulators can, never, simulators can never classify hues for the color buttons in order, but discromate can classify color plates more or less. The cone isolation flicker yaji, this can assess long, medium, and small cone cell functions and counteraction, so colors and sensitively. Simulation of line bag light blindness frequently observed in military recruitment examination to, to avoid military service or night shift at work or military.
dark adaptive metric test is used electroretinography is used and if combined responses of rod and cones are normal it in indicates simulation i've seen lesser tests in this test after dark adaptation 680 to 720 nanometer red light is projected to the subject's eye it excites only the macula and separate sore and malingering who is faking light blindness refuses that he or she can she, uh, see any light Negative simulation disorder includes central vision anomaly denial, perimetric changes denial, night blindness denial, binocular vision anomaly denial, and refractive surgery denial. Thank you.